Welcome to Strake Jesuit's Open House. This is a 360 degree event. You are able to look anywhere you want during the entire evening. On a desktop or laptop computer, use your mouse to click and drag around inside the video window to look left or right, up or down. On a mobile device, tilting your phone in any direction will change what you are viewing, but you can also swipe with your finger. You can view in vertical or horizontal orientations. If you have a virtual reality headset, such as Google Cardboard, you can place your mobile device inside it to be immersed in the tour and look all around by turning your head. Thank you for joining us this evening. Welcome to Strake Jesuit's Open House. This is a 360 degree event. You are able to look anywhere you want during the entire evening. On a desktop or laptop computer, use your mouse to click and drag around inside the video window to look left or right, up or down. On a mobile device, tilting your phone in any direction will change what you are viewing but you can also swipe with your finger. You can view in vertical or horizontal orientations. If you have a virtual reality headset, such as Google Cardboard, you can place your mobile device inside it to be immersed in the tour and look all around by turning your head. Thank you for joining us this evening. Welcome to Strake Jesuit's Open House. This is a 360 degree event. You are able to look anywhere you want during the entire evening. On a desktop or laptop computer, use your mouse to click and drag around inside the video window to look left or right, up or down. On a mobile device, tilting your phone in any direction will change what you are viewing but you can also swipe with your finger. You can view in vertical or horizontal orientations. If you have a virtual reality headset, such as Google Cardboard, you can place your mobile device inside it to be immersed in the tour and look all around by turning your head. Thank you for joining us this evening.
Good evening and welcome to Strake Jesuit. My name is Father Jeff Johnson and I'm the president of the school. It's great to have you with us tonight for our open house. I wish you could be with us here in person, but our priority right now is making sure we can remain fully open in person for all of our students and to make sure you're safe. But don't worry, we're using some pretty creative and clever technology to show you every aspect of the campus tonight. I think you're gonna learn a lot about us. First, let's start with a short video that will show you a little bit more about what it's like to be a student at Strake Jesuit. Thanks again for joining us. Jesuit education, you know, going back to the very beginning with the foundation of the society, has always placed care on the individual person. The secret to a Jesuit education is the relationships that are formed here on this campus. This school, it's like a, it's one huge community. You have a lot of people who are trying to like push you to be the best person you can be so you can figure out who you are. Everyone's valued, everyone's loved. The faculty, they care about you, they talk to you, in the hallways, they ask about your day. We're able to get to know our students on a personal level where we value our students as a whole person. We all have the same goals, and it's just to form these young men into men for others. I feel like there's no greater satisfaction in your heart than you know helping somebody or making somebody feel good. It's so inherent to Jesuit education to be among the people and to to care for the person in its fullness, not isolated from the world, but in it. Everything is centered around this theme of, it's not about me, it's about the gifts I have being used to serve others. A man for others is a man that doesn't make excuses. To look at more than just what they want and they need and look for what we were made for as human beings, which is communion. Our shared faith in God is what animates everything that we do here. God has a plan for all of us, a unique plan that he has formed. A kid may love basketball, or he may love football, or he may love the robotics team. So once they're here, then whatever those avenues are, God speaks into their lives, and it teaches them about teamwork, service, commitment, that we is greater than me. All of our excellence, all of our success, it's because of our faith. We have so much more than just what is in the material. We have faith and love, and that's going to keep this place together. Jesuit is the best place. It's a home, it's a brotherhood. It's a great place to be because of the people and the relationships. Four years of growth, physically, emotionally, spiritually, it's a different person when they leave. What I've gotten here will stick with me forever. Attending this school is probably the greatest gift my parents have given me. Our young men here at Strake Jesuit really give me hope for the future. They're creative, they're funny, they're kind and caring. It's just amazing to watch who they become. Our straight Jesuit. We are part of a long history of young men who have been formed into leaders and men for others. We understand that growth is about learning how to accept ourselves, both our talents and our limitations. We pray together and we reflect on how we have lived each day. We, like St. Ignatius, think of the world around us as an opportunity to see God in all things. We realize that we gain as much from the journey as we do from the outcome. We give glory to God in everything we do. The fact is, while you are thinking about the friends, the grades, the music, 
the art, and the achievements you can make at Strake Jesuit. Strake Jesuit has been thinking about how to make you into who you are meant to be. We are Strake Jesuit. We are men for others. We are SJ. Well, great. I hope you enjoyed that. Now I would like to introduce our Director of Admissions, Mr. Tom Beverick. Hi there. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I hope that you're enjoying the presentation so far. We'd love to have you here on campus to show you around, but we think that this next feature is the next best thing. I'm very happy to show you our 360-degree virtual tour. Please enjoy. We begin here at the statue of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuit order. Jesuits have been educating young men since 1548. Strake Jesuit, founded in 1960, is one of hundreds of Jesuit schools throughout the globe. We are proud to be a part of the largest and longest standing educational organization in the world. Let's head into the chapel. Conveniently located in the middle of campus, the chapel is the place where daily mass is celebrated every morning before school at 7.25 a.m. in addition to other special masses. If you look straight ahead, you'll see a door which leads to the Pastoral Ministry Center. The Department of Pastoral Ministry's goal is to support the Strake Jesuit community in its work of finding God in all things. They coordinate liturgies, retreats, service, pastoral counseling, and spiritual formation. As we exit the chapel, you'll notice the beautiful Stations of the Cross, created by noted religious artist Gib Singleton. Connected to the chapel is the Clay Student Activity Center, which we're entering now. This building is a hub of student life. This bright, three-story atrium is a great spot for students to relax, study, play cards, or just be with friends. In addition to the Pastoral Ministry Center, the first floor is home to the Spirit Store, which is the place to buy all of your Strake Jesuit merchandise. The second floor houses offices for debate, yearbook, and Magis, the student newspaper. Let's head up to the third floor. Nice view, huh? This room is the ceramics lab. It's the perfect space for the ceramics class, a fine arts course open to Strake Jesuit and St. Agnes students. In case you're not aware, Strake Jesuit is an all boys school. However, St. Agnes, an all girls school, is located right across the parking lot. We share several classes and extracurricular activities, and Strike Jesuit students can interact with St. Agnes students during lunch, during community time, and before and after school. We like to say it's the best of both worlds for our students. All the good things of being an all boys school with St. Agnes across the parking lot and lots of opportunities for interaction. Let's head to the SJET studio. SJET stands for Strake Jesuit Educational Television. SJET is actually two things. It's a communications network, including internet-based video, closed circuit television, and live streaming of events. And it's also the home of extracurricular and curricular activities for student members to learn many aspects of digital media creation, television production, video technologies, and more. This is the studio, which is equipped for special effects and computer editing of footage and graphics. Several current media personalities got their start right here in SJET. SJET has been around since 1970. If you look straight ahead, you'll see the original camera. Okay, let's head out. Here's another look at the first floor of the Clay Student Activity Center.
Through those brown doors is the Moran Dining Hall, which we'll explore in a bit. For now, let's head outside. Before you now are 22 of the 52 total acres of our campus. Take a look around. Many people say that our campus resembles the campus of a small college. During community time or a free period, many students will gather in the areas to your left, the Schneidau Courtyard and the Canelli Green, to play spike ball, football, soccer, ultimate frisbee, and more. To your right is Moran Hall, which houses the school's academic administration and counseling offices. The admissions office is located on the second floor. Speaking of counseling, every student is assigned an academic and personal counselor and a college counselor. Students meet in small groups once a week with their academic and personal counselor, in addition to regularly scheduled one-on-one -on -one meetings. There's a similar setup with college counseling and students began working with those counselors most closely during junior and senior year. Let's head into the Lohman Theater. The Lohman Theater seats about 230 people and is home to the Suttle Players, a co-ed theatrical group made up of Strake Jesuit and St. Agnes students. During the school year, these students produce several plays with performances held here in the theater. Recent productions include the 39 Steps, Play On, The Adding Machine, and more. Strike Jesuit students can also participate in the St. Agnes Theater program, which focuses more on musical theater. In addition to plays, the Lohman Theater is also a great location for guest speakers and other presentations. Let's head back outside. Straight ahead, you'll see the Moody Memorial Library, which we'll visit in a few minutes. As we walk down the covered breezeway, you can take another look at the large amount of outdoor areas available to our students. We love that we have such an open outdoor campus. It's great to get outside and get a breath of fresh air in between classes and to have plenty of space for outdoor activities. Throughout the campus, you'll see several outdoor tents being constructed and several outdoor hand washing stations. These features, of course, are not permanent but will serve us well as we deal with COVID-19. To see up-to-date information on how we're responding to COVID, you can visit strakejesuit.org slash COVID-19. We are now entering Cameron Hall and Strake Hall, which are the two oldest buildings on campus and are connected in the middle with a space called the Camel Commons. Cameron Hall, which is now located behind us, has served Jesuit students since the first day of classes as it was the only permanent building on campus when the school opened in the fall of 1961. Strake Hall, which we're walking through now, opened in 1963. As we exit Strake Hall, you'll see the Hamilton Building across the way. It houses the President's Office, Development Office, and Finance Office. We're now approaching the library. The Moody Memorial Library is a great place to study or read for leisure. The library contains large study tables, group study rooms equipped with iPad mirroring monitors, a silent study room, comfortable seating, and plenty of computers and printers for students to use. To the right is the Learning Resource Center, or LRC. The LRC is dedicated to supporting students with diagnosed learning differences in becoming more self-aware of their strengths and challenges, taking ownership of their differences, and developing strategies for success. About 19% of our students are enrolled in the Learning Resource Center. I mentioned a second ago that the group study rooms in the library are equipped with iPad mirroring monitors. I should point out that all of our students are given iPads. We see the iPad as one tool among many that students use at Jesuit. Teachers utilize many different iPad apps to enhance the learning experience, and most textbooks are digital textbooks, which are automatically loaded on student iPads each year. Speaking of textbooks, they're covered. Textbooks and iPads are included in the cost of tuition. Let's head to the Parsley Center. There are a few different components to this building. 
The first that we'll visit is the Parsley Center Auditorium. The auditorium is where the school community gathers for masses, musical performances, presentations, and assemblies. Many of these activities are divided by house, yes, we have a house system, or by grade level to ensure that everyone has a good seat. Speaking of the house system, all students are grouped into one of eight houses and remain in these houses until they graduate. Throughout the year, houses compete against each other to earn their house quarterly or yearly rewards. This system enables students and faculty to interact across grade levels. Team trivia, water gun battles, and athletic tournaments are a few of the activities that houses take part in. Let's head to the music facilities. Strike Jesuit has both a band and an orchestra, and both programs are co-ed. All opportunities for instrumental music for both Strake Jesuit and St. Agnes students take place at Jesuit. All vocal music takes place at St. Agnes, and Jesuit students are able to enroll in those classes and programs. We are now entering the orchestra room, where the orchestra practices before school. The orchestra plays at school functions, liturgies, and festivals. Both music programs, band and orchestra, practice before school during zero period. This enables students to be part of a music program and participate in other extracurricular programs like athletics, debate, or theater, which typically practice after school. We're now entering the band room, where the Strake Jesuit St. Agnes Band practices each morning. The band performs at all football games, as well as Christmas and spring concerts and band contests. The band consistently earns top awards at competitions. It is open to all students who play a woodwind, brass, or percussion instrument. To your left, you'll see several practice rooms where students can practice their instruments during community time, free periods, or other free time. I've mentioned community time a few times now, so I'll explain that in just a minute. First, let me point out that the items on your left are part of our artifact hallway, and some are as old as 6,000 years old. It's really neat for our students to be able to study history in person, right here on campus. Okay, now let me tell you about community time. During community time, which takes place from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. nearly every school day, all faculty, staff, and students are on campus, but there are no scheduled classes. It's scheduled free time for students every day. It's a great time to attend club meetings, meet with a teacher or counselor, catch up on homework, study, spend time with friends, or get a workout in. Another thing I want to talk about is our art museum. You may have noticed art all over the place, both indoors and outdoors. The entire campus serves as an art museum with more than 300 works of art. We're now entering Zinnemann Hall, which includes 11 classrooms and a state-of-the-art modular classroom on the second floor. Classroom buildings are generally organized by subject. Zinnemann Hall is home to language and foreign language classes and faculty offices for those subjects as well. We're now entering AG Hall, which is our newest building and largest classroom building on campus. It's our STEM building, the home of Jesuits' science, technology, engineering, and math classes, and is a state-of-the-art facility that's unmatched in the area. The first floor is home to our engineering lab and engineering computer lab, as well as many classrooms and the gray lecture hall, which we'll see in a minute. AG Hall is a big building, so we won't see all of it right now, but let's head to the second floor.
This is a biology lab. It's not the only lab in the building, though. There are actually nine total science labs. They're organized by subject, by floor. So there are three physics labs on the first floor, three biology labs on the second floor, and three chemistry labs on the third floor. Each subject has its own lab prep room that connects all three labs on that floor. Having nine total science labs is great. It allows our students to engage in hands-on learning all the time, which we think is one of the best ways to learn. Let's head back down to the first floor. The Gray Lecture Hall is one of my favorite classrooms on campus and is a state-of-the-art space. As you can see, it features stadium-style seating, three projectors, and a speaker system. It's the perfect space for a large class, a club meeting, or a presentation. All of this walking has made me hungry. Let's head to the dining hall. The Moran Dining Hall is a great spot for our students to eat lunch during one of our two lunch periods. Back when I was a student here, this was actually our basketball gym. You can even see some of the original bleachers across the room from back then. Today, this space serves our students well as a dining hall. It's open throughout the school day, so you can grab breakfast here in the morning, grab lunch at lunchtime, grab a snack during community time or a free period, and hang out at the tables doing homework or spending time with friends. Let's head to athletics. Here at Jesuit, we offer 14 total sports, pretty much anything that you can think of. We offer baseball, basketball, cross country, football, golf, lacrosse, martial arts, rugby, soccer, swimming, tennis, track and field, water polo, and wrestling. We're committed to making sure that as many of our students have an opportunity to participate in athletics as possible. Over 80% of our students participate in athletics each year, and we offer multiple teams for each sport to make this possible. For some of our most popular sports, we offer up to five teams, two freshman teams, two JV teams, and a varsity. In all, we have roughly 45 total teams in a given school year. Most of our sports are non-cut sports, but several of our cut sports do offer developmental teams. Right now, we're walking toward our golf learning center. But first, to your left, you'll see Restrepo Field, and to your right, you'll see Novelli Field. Both are multi-use practice fields for our various outdoor sports. In all, we have seven outdoor fields for our outdoor sports to use. This means that no one has to practice early in the morning or late at night. There's plenty of space for all of our sports to practice right after school every day. Okay, we've reached our golf learning center. As you can see, we're walking on the putting and chipping area right now. It's great for our golfers to be able to practice their short game right here on campus. But that's not all. We also have a fully netted hitting range with indoor hitting bays. Not a bad place to hit a bucket of golf balls. All right, let's head back. And while we do, let me tell you a little bit more about our athletic program. We're a little bit different than any other private school that you'll visit because we are members of the University Interscholastic League, or the UIL which is the public school league here in Texas. The only private schools that have ever been members of the UIL are us and Dallas Jesuit. We love being members of the UIL because, quite frankly, 
That's where the best competition is, and we want to play against the best. We are in 6A, which is the highest classification, and we compete in District 23-6A, which is made up of the A-Leaf schools right down the road, plus the two Pearland schools, Shadow Creek, and Alvin. It's tough competition, but we've really held our own in our sports over the years. Let's head into the competition gym. This is, of course, where we have our basketball games. In addition to the game court, there are two full-length cross courts and two state-of-the-art video scoreboards. The competition gym is a great place to watch a basketball game and is also where we host wrestling matches, pep rallies, and graduation. To your right, you'll see our UIL state champions, including the recent accomplishments from Matthew Bowling and the members of our track and field team. Let's head into the field house. Our first stop is our weight room dedicated to Captain Andrew Houghton, straight Jesuit class of 1997, who passed away from injuries sustained in Iraq while serving his country. The weight room is where Jesuit athletes train and prepare for competition, and where all Jesuit students are guided through weight training programs in PE class. The room measures over a thousand square feet and features state-of-the-art exercise equipment. Our next stop is the Brother Casey Ferlita Fieldhouse Gym. This gym features three full basketball courts with scoreboards and fold-up curtain dividers to divide the three courts. The middle gym has two retractable multi-purpose batting cages which drop down from the ceiling. This gives our baseball players the ability to continue to practice even if there's bad weather outside. Normally, basketball uses the competition gym and these first two gyms in the field house for practice. The final gym, which you see in front of you, is currently used for wrestling practice. To your right, through these doors, are eight locker rooms, coaches' offices, and a training room. We're very blessed to have our own pool right here on campus. The pool is home to our water polo and swimming and diving teams and is also used by our students during PE classes. It's heated, so it can be used year round. As we exit the pool, you'll see four tennis courts on your left for our tennis team. You'll also see our outdoor batting cages for our baseball team. Let's go take a look at the baseball stadium. The Markle Steel Baseball Field is perhaps the best high school baseball field in the area. It features an all-weather field turf surface and a large state-of-the-art video scoreboard and right field. With seating for 600 fans, it's a great place to catch a ball game. Beyond the outfield walls, there are two more multi-use practice fields.
to your left, you'll see our final stop, Clay Stadium. Clay Stadium is home to Crusader football, soccer, lacrosse, rugby, and track and field. It features all weather field turf, seats over 5,000 fans, and features a large state-of-the-art video scoreboard. Thank you for joining me on this tour. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it gave you a feel for our campus and what life at Straight Jesuit is like. And now, I'd like to introduce our Assistant Principal for Student Affairs, Mr. John Fed. Good evening. Because we couldn't be together on campus tonight, we thought it's especially important that you have a chance to hear from Strake Jesuit students. So our next segment is a panel of young men answering questions from prospective families just like you. Enjoy. My name is Stephen Murray. I am in 10th grade, a sophomore at Strig Jesuit, and I went to St. Lawrence Middle School. I'm Charlie Cox, I'm a junior, and uh, I went to Western Academy. My name is Jonathan Barcados, class 2023, and I went to Annunciation Orthodox Middle School. Uh, my name is Will Turboff, I'm a junior right now, and I went to Tanglewood Middle School. My name is Joel Crawford, I'm a junior, and I went to the Village School for Middle School. I'm Mason Abrell. I am a junior at Strake, so 11th grade, and I went to Western Academy for middle school. My name is Damian Morales. I am a senior, class of 2021, and the middle school that I went to was Holy Rosary Catholic School in Rosenberg. The reason I chose Strake Jesuit was because it just kind of felt like home to me. You know, ever since the first time I stepped on campus, um, I kind of had this feeling that it's really indescribable, but that's when I knew it was going to be my, my home. I chose Drake probably because my brother went here. Um, my mom also forced me at one point, but I'm excited. I'm glad I did. She liked the academics, the community, and she thought that we would fit in pretty well here. Do you fit in pretty well here? I think so. <laughs> Strake Jesuit is a really well-known school. I thought it opened a lot of doors. I saw the academics, everything they had to offer me. I have plenty of opportunities and classes to take to help me prepare myself for college. First of all, extracurriculars. Second reason is just the academics are rigorous and challenge me, which I find a great you know, factor in a school. I chose Strake Jesuit because my brothers all went to Strake. Uh, I just saw the experiences they had and I, and I really loved it with all uh, going to like their sports games and, and just all the people here, always really nice. Another reason I chose, I chose Straight Jesuit was because it wasn't going to be the easiest school for me. It was going to push me to do more than, than what I thought I could do. When I visited here, it just really showed me kind of what Straight's all about, like a sense of community, the brotherhood that you feel here. That really, you know, helped me make my decision as compared to many of the other schools I visited where you just didn't feel that sense of community. So whenever I came to Strake for the school visit, that's whenever I really did enjoy it. I mean, it looked like a really nice community. It really is like a family. So I play football, I run track, I'm involved in Key Club, the Black Student Union, Athletes Taking Action, Future Business Leaders of America, and uh, I'm a varsity golfer. Since freshman year, I've been involved in SJET, which is a media broadcast program that we have here. And as well as that, I'm involved in Crusader Sports Network, uh, which is something that I helped develop also in my freshman year. I play two sports, football and lacrosse. Um, I'm part of Key Club, and I'm part of the Fishing Club. Freshman year, I was part of uh, debate and I've been a part of the robotics team for the past two years. I've also been in band for all three years. I also just joined Model UN this year, which is an awesome club. I have been doing athletic training since freshman year. I was in choir for freshman and sophomore year. I've also been a part of Crusader Crew for about three years now, and I really do enjoy that because I get to see the, the new class of freshmen each and every year and kind of help show them uh, what Strike Jesuit is about you know, the community building and the brotherhood. Well, I think everyone is, is just here for each other. Uh, you're not going into anything alone. 
uh, if you ever need any help, teachers are there, uh, you know, any faculty and, and students. You know, there's been times where I've been struggling uh, in a class or, you know, studying for a test and guys that I know have actually reached out to me saying that they've struggled with the same thing or that, you know, they'd be happy to help. So Strike Jesuit teaches us things that we can use after we graduate. Um, the community here is extremely diverse, full of different people from different backgrounds, so it teaches you how to interact with these different types of people you may not have been accustomed to before. Everyone's your brother, you're willing to help everyone out, you're all friends, and everything in that environment is just kind of a brotherhood, and that's where it all starts. The Men Brothers motto is propagated throughout all of Strake Jesuit, um, from anywhere just in your classes, the way you work with other students, to the service work that you have to do, to the key club, to pretty much anywhere, even in band, we're supposed to be men and women brothers. Um, it's very much an ingrained part of the experience at Strake Jesuit. The thing that I love about the Jesuit education is probably that we're not just learning about academics, we're also learning about actual life lessons that can impact us in the future. Things that we learn in theology, um, I've been able to use when talking to other people. Um, it kind of just helps you think about things that you probably wouldn't think about at school. A Jesuit education means two things. First of all, like academic rigor. Um, Jesuit schools are famous for their you know, aptitude in academics and the rigorous teaching. But dually, it's development in the faith. I'd say a Jesuit education, to me personally, means that you learn how to be empathetic towards others and you learn to not judge others. It's not just a surface level thing. We offer Mass and every day you can have confession upon request. I think that's something really special and you can't get that anywhere. Coming here, I didn't know a lot of people. Uh, I was one of three people from my middle school that came here. And, you know, I was kind of worried about will I make friends? Um, how will I make friends? But since being here, I think part of the idea of going to an all guys school, it's actually like a brotherhood. And the relationships I've built here were people I probably would have never met before. And I think that that all comes from us all being a brotherhood under the Jesuit name. The brotherhood of rugby was amazing. Everyone was always supporting each other. Teammates are also a really important thing for me. Unlike another school, especially at an all-boys school, brotherhood's a big thing here. And, you know, that, that's going to carry on for the rest of my life, and I can already feel it. The strike really sets you on the path to success for virtually any career. Well, obviously, uh, I want to get a college education. It's uh, called Strike Jesuit College Preparatory, so I'm here for a reason. And uh, I've been meeting with my college counselor recently, and he's uh, putting me on a great path. Uh, I'm doing clubs here that uh, are related to what I want to study in college and, and pursue a career in. So I think uh, that having a lot of people around me and, and building up a strong foundation, it's going to help me a lot in college and then in, in my work life. I'd like to play college golf with our top-notch facilities. Uh, I have that opportunity to work on my golf game here. Something that I've always wanted to do was kind of open up a little bit more. I moved around a lot um, in middle school, elementary, so it's kind of hard for me to open up to people. And since being here, I think I have grown in that area, and that will definitely impact me in the future. And besides, like academically and uh, socially, as a, as a man, as a person, I. I want to become a lot like my dad. Um, I think he has good morals. He sees Strike as a, as a good way to develop you know, his sons. Not only do I want to be successful in wealth, but I want to be successful in my faith life. I want to be able to build the greatest relationship I can with God. All of our classes, all of the clubs that we do, they're all centered around this spiritual formation. Uh, at the retreats, you form even close relationships with your strict Jesuit brothers, as well as your uh, father for the sophomore retreat, and again, closer to God for all those years as well. I think the priests play a big part with talking to the students and developing their spiritual lives. So coming to Strike Jesuit, I was a little worried about the fact that I'm not Catholic. So we learn about the Catholic faith, but things that we can apply to our lives, even if we're not Catholic. And that's been something that's been really helpful to me, and also just different questions we have about life and different questions about who we are, why we're here. I think that even if you're not Catholic, Straight Jesuit does a really good job at including everybody in the conversation of spirituality. One thing that I thought was really special was our sophomore retreat. 
um, when we got to go with our dads, getting to have that relationship with your dad is something incredibly special. I'm someone who's really close with my dad, so seeing everyone else get to become closer with their dad in those few days is something really incredible that Strake has to offer. Kairos was another wonderful experience. It's, I'd say that's the moment where I really felt like in the clo closest relationship with God. If it weren't for Strake being uh, so big on our spirituality and our closeness with God, I probably would not have the relationship I have with God that I do now. Service uh, also helps me humble myself as a person. I remember my freshman year, whenever Harvey hit, that was a, a huge opportunity for all of us to serve uh, people in our community who have lost their homes. And especially at the food drive that we host uh, with the Houston Food Bank, that is something that I've been involved in as well. I went to a, a retirement home. And while being there, I, at first I wasn't too excited about being there, but when I got there, I instantly bonded with everyone there and um, I even was able to play piano for them uh, while we were like communicating. It was a lot of fun, and that was, that was a really good experience. I think it taught me a lot of humility um, and realizing that that definitely could be me one day, and I, uh, <laughs> I need to treat them as I, I would want to be treated. At first, you, you kind of go in pessimistic, and you're like, ah, this isn't going to be much fun. i got to get my 15 hours and get out. But uh, working for the food bank, you know, you're hanging out with your buddies, and move in frozen foods and stuff and you realize it's not all that bad and it's actually kind of fun so pushing us to do these things makes you enjoy them a little more and then you start to want to do them on your own. I would say that the service program at Strake it provides a layer of um, depth and I think it's a great part of the Strake Jesuit experience and definitely a crucial part of it. The one word that I would use to describe the community here is, is probably open. You know, I feel like the whole campus is connected with each other and, and that we all want each other to succeed and that helps a lot. It's an all guy school and I think that when people first think about that they think, oh no, I'm going to be at school full of guys, I don't want to come here. But in reality it's like being in a school with all your friends all day long resources the students are provided with. The teachers, the, the iPads, the classrooms are all A plus quality. There's a thing for everybody. You don't feel excluded, you know? If you don't make one sport, you're open to trying another and then you learn that you love that sport. It's an environment where you can make a mistake, bounce back and still have a relationship with your teachers and be able to do new things and still love where you are. Uh, but just, just the openness of the campus and the caring of everyone on campus, not just uh, teachers and, and other staff, but students too. Something that differentiates Strike Jesuit from other schools is our ability to feel like a family. I have been greatly blessed by Strike Jesuit in many ways, one of them being through financial aid. Let's take you to Mr. Montroy, who would like to discuss more details on financial aid. Hi, I'm Andrew Montroy. I'm the financial aid coordinator here at Strake Jesuit. I'm really excited to talk to you guys more about our financial aid program here at Strake Jesuit. Here at Strake Jesuit, it's a part of our school mission to ensure that our school is accessible to all those who desire a Catholic and Jesuit education. In the financial aid office, our role in that mission is to make sure that a family's finances don't come in the way of that becoming a reality for their son. Our program here at Strake Jesuit is fully need-based and is completely independent from the admissions office. So we do not look at your son's talents in or out of the classroom, but we really only look at a family's ability to afford tuition. Over the past year, we gave $3.4 million in financial aid, which averaged out to be about $14.5,000 per student. And then we gave that out over about 20% of our student population. With a $14,500 grant from the financial aid office, that means that you know, our average financial aid family was only paying $8,200 for school this year, which is comparable to the average tuition of a Catholic middle school here in the city of Houston. 
To apply for financial aid, we use a third party partner, the Financial Aid Independent Review, or FAIR, F A I R. To apply, you can go to their website, which is FAIRapp.com, uh, and apply and log on there. For more information on how you can apply for financial aid online, you can go to the Strake Jesuit website under admissions and click on tuition and financial aid. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me in the financial aid office. I look forward to hearing from you and to talking with you on how we can go ahead and make Jesuit a reality for your son. It's really important to us that our families feel that their son is having a good experience here. Let's hear from a couple of our former and current parents about their son's experience. My name is Victoria Stratton and my son is Garrett Stratton and he is a junior class of 2022. My name is Gary Broadnax. My wife. Hi, I'm Allison Brodnax, and our son, Alex, is a junior, class of 2022. And we also have a freshman this year, Chase, class of 2024. Hi, my name is Jennifer Dye, and my son, Andrew Dye, is a sophomore here at Strike Jesuit, and he's class of 2023. Hello, my name is uh, Mark Lawrence. I'm director of operations here at Strike Jesuit. I joined about a year ago. I'm actually following my son, George, class of uh, 2017. My name is Susan Granger Tyler. My son, Ethan Tyler, graduated in the famous class of uh, 2020. I'm Kit Ashby, my wife, Leslie. We have two sons, Lynn, who graduated a couple years ago. He's now a junior in college, and Pierce, who's a, a senior. Stephanie and Josh Davis. Um, our son, Joshua, was class of 2020, and our son, Payne, is class of 2022. My name is Keely Moore. I have twin boys that are sophomores, Mason and Carson, class of 23. My name is Rebecca Balogun, and my first son graduated 2013, Mujola Balogun, and uh, my second son, Similene Balogun, graduated this year, 2020, May, during the pandemic. We chose Straight Jesuit for Mason and Carson, knowing that this was a great place for growth. They were getting an amazing education in a spiritual environment. We have a straight Jesuit graduate now, and you know, he started as what I would say was a, a, a boy. And when he finished, we really felt like he was a, a, a great young man. And a lot of that had to do with uh, you know, his experiences and what he learned here at straight Jesuit. I remember when uh, our oldest came here, and he was just a young ninth grader, and he just looked so young and such a little boy. And I would look at those seniors in high school and think, oh my gosh, I don't know, you know, if we'll ever get there. And then all of a sudden you blink your eye and you do. He's a man, he's responsible, and he was so ready for college to go on. So you do see that growth uh, from freshman to senior year. Joshua thinks college is easy. Academically, it's top notch. I mean, I, I don't know that people really fully appreciate that there is academic, the academics here are the best. When we sat down for the grad at grad speech on his uh, first time here, I, uh, I called my wife and said, wow, we're not in Kansas anymore. Uh, this is gonna be a big step up for him. And uh, you know, we were kind of worried, would he step up to the challenge that they put in the grad at grad? Um, but I can say this, what I tell people is, by the time he walked out of here, he knew who he was, he knew uh, what he wanted to do, he just, discovered his faith, and he knew why he believed it. When other parents ask me um, about Strike Jesuit, I always say that you can be confident that your child's going to get a great education academically, but also that it's for the whole person. That you'll watch your student grow in ways that you weren't expecting. Um, that they really will become mature young men who care about other people, that have high goals for themselves, that their values will continue to grow in a positive way, and that you'll be assured that you're watching your son grow into the, the kind of young man that you would want them to be, a man that loves God and that loves others. 
I think uh, spiritually, uh, you know, the ability to have a theology class every day, uh, to have mass, um, the retreats that the boys go on, uh, you know, they really, we saw, a, you know, a huge difference uh, just in their spiritual growth. I really love that Strike Jesuit is a Catholic school. We are a Catholic family, and I love that our Catholic faith is a part of their day, that there's prayer time during the day, that there's mass offered, they have adoration, they have spiritual retreats, they're offered the sacraments here, and I just love that because not only are they educating him in academics, but they're educating him um, in his spiritual life as well. And um, that's really important that the whole person is being educated, and, and we really love that about Strike Jesuit. For his sports teams, he's always the one that wants to say, you know, pull up boys, we gotta pray before the game. I mean, he's a really a young man of strong faith, and it's been fun to watch how that's really impacted our whole family. The way they grew spiritually, and the way they grew up to be men for themselves and men for others. Men for others. Men for others. Men for others. For the greater glory of God. In making a decision to come to the school, uh, there are other criteria we looked at other than, uh, of course, the excellence in the uh, learning. But what we love about Strait is that there are lots of diverse students here. Uh, the school has nurtured the entire uh, student body to be one. And I love it. I mean, and we feel it as parents. Uh, the parents uh, are all excellent people and accept everyone uh, to the family. This is, Straight Jesuit is a family. And as a family, they care about each and every one of our children. Uh, and we feel very safe that uh, our boys won't get lost and they'll learn how to deal with what's out there in, in the world. We've been so impressed with the relationships that um, Andrew has formed with his teachers. There's such a, a terrific level of respect. And I think a lot of times when you let your son have that back and forth with the teacher on their own, um, there's a huge success there for them within each class. And he's had many, many successful relationships just in the, the year and a half that he's been here. And um, so it's really, it's really been great to see. No teacher here wants you to fail is what we tell people. So they will be tough, but if again, you push and you advocate on your own behalf, he had Mr. Um, Ramon, his math teacher. Whatever he did, he would make room for Ethan. He had Dr. Berger, of course, with, with swimming, and water polo was also very busy, but Ethan would show up and hang out in his department, and he would make room for him. My husband will tell everybody that the college readiness program has made it worth every penny to go here and I feel like they've done a really, really good job of working with him. The service requirements at Strait Jesuit are really, really beneficial to the boys and puts them in environments where maybe they're not so comfortable, but they learn to be comfortable and learn uh, to work with others and to really walk away feeling really good about what they've done. Your son will rise as a leader in some group, whether he's an artist, whether he's an athlete, whether he's a writer. Whatever it is, when you look around in every corner, there are leaders who are male, and it tells them, I can do this, right? And so that's important for boys to see themselves as being able. Whether you're an artist or an athlete or a student who is more into academics or music, we live in a very competitive environment. So I feel like you really want to plug your child into a school where you know that they can find a place. And here at Strike Jesuit, there really is a place for everyone. You don't have to look further. This is home. This is family. This is where the boys can see a role model of fathers, priests, and everybody around the faculty is great, academically excellent. And I recommend Straight Jesuit any day. They love to come to school. They never, they prefer to stay in school till 7 p.m. And they, ne they just want to be here. And I see that this is a home and a family that we found in Straight Jesuit. Uh, Tourette Senior, he couldn't wait to get to school. He couldn't wait to, uh, whatever he had planned, he, he couldn't wait, uh, just, it seemed like such a happy, when he, when he graduated, he was a very happy boy. And I think he found that happiness here. It turns out our neighbor across the street, uh, her son 
That was the biggest thing. Went uh, to Strike. Uh, yeah. Strike she Strike had three sons too. that went to Strike, and that was a huge change. Our neighbor, our cross street neighbor, and they were our babysitters when our children were little. And so my boys got to watch her boys, and her boys were a big influence on why we chose here because her boys are always so polite, so kind, and they wanted to be that kind of boy. They, they were and, straight men. They right. were straight, they were kind of gentlemen, uh, gracious, giving, that well we wanted our boys to be, honestly. If I had to make the decision again on where my son was going to go to school, I'd pick straight Jesuit every time. It has exceeded every expectation that we could have asked for. My son has just excelled here and he's happy. <laughs> he's made a great group of friends with good values. He's surrounded himself with, with people that um, we're proud for him to know that I feel like will be lifetime friends for him. And that just is more than we could ever ask for. They leave here prepared for college. They leave here prepared for life. And that's one of the main reasons we came here. You know, I, I think if you're going through the process as, a, as an eighth grade parent, you, you, know, you want to look around at you know, what all these different schools can provide your, your son. Uh, in this case, if you're coming to Strike Jesuit, and uh, I think you'll find that no other school offers the total package that Strike does from academics to extracurriculars to athletics to ultimately the development and, and character of your, your young boy into a, you know, a great young man. I hope you enjoyed the tour tonight. Thanks for coming to the Strike Jesuit Open House. If you're an eighth grader and you'd really like to be a man for others, please finish your application as soon as possible. The deadline is December 15th. If you'd like to stick around and find out a little bit more about the school, go back to the Open House website and you'll find links to Zoom rooms where our coaches and moderators and department chairs are standing by to tell you a little bit more about the school and you can ask them any questions you'd like. Thanks again for coming to the Strake Jesuit Open House.